in today's video, we're going to do another Disney Mania Monday video. I had um, done that a couple weeks ago and a lot of you said that you had really enjoyed it and things like that. So I thought I'd do another um, unboxing of three of the Vinylmations. A lot of you seem to like the Vinylmations. Sorry guys, I forgot my glasses, so <laughs> bear with me. And um, first we have one of the Cinderella boxes and we have two of the 101 Dalmatian boxes. These are really cool. If you don't know what Vinylmations are, again, they're little Mickey figures. Well, they're shaped like Mickey and they have different molds and different designs on them. So there's one of eight designs in each of the boxes. The first one we have is Cinderella. And you can see Cinderella on this side, and you can see the evil stepmother on this side. Here's all the different ones you can collect. And uh, if you haven't checked out my first opening of these, let me know. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the comments below. And these are really, really cool. And so I'm going to be doing Disney Mania Mondays from time to time. They may not happen all the time, but you will get them a couple times a month at least, I promise. I've been really busy, and you all know in a couple weeks why, so stay tuned for that. And then you get the 101 Dalmatian series. We've got one of the dogs on here in Corella de Vil. And then these are all the different ones you can collect, as you can see. So uh, let's open first the Cinderella one. Out of the Cinderella one, the ones I'd really like would be either the two Cinderella's or maybe even the evil stepmother. That might be cool. Or the Prince Charming. Actually, any of them would be cool, but let's just see which one I get. Those are all the different ones. If you collect Vinylmations, let me know down in the comments below. I think they're really, really cute. And what do you think of these series? I know there's a new Olaf, I mean, there's a new Frozen series. I haven't gotten any of those yet. I am kind of haven't been getting a lot of Vinylmations lately. So I'm just getting a couple here and there. So let's see this one, and as always, they have a pull, easy pull tab. So let's see which one I get. Ooh, we got Lucifer. That's really cool. So that's a cool one. There's Lucifer, his arms move. I like how he's in the um, furry friends mold. So that's really cool, and I like the detail on the back of Lucifer. So he's really cool. Not one of my top ones that I had wanted, actually, to tell you the truth. So I'm not sure if he's going to be a keeper or a trader. Probably a keeper. I usually keep all the ones I get, the single ones, and then trade all my doubles. But one thing I will say about Lucifer before we open the next two boxes is that Lucifer, I feel like they overdo Lucifer. Because I've seen them done two or three times. So I'm a little disappointed in that. But other than that, it's cool. And again, here's all the ones from 101 Dalmatians. I would really like to get Corella DeVille. She's on the top, top of my list. And either Anita or uh, Roger would be cool, the humans. But any of them are cool. So let's see what I get. And I love, love this one because look at the design in there. It's really, really cute. I love the way they do the box and how all their little paw prints are there. So I think they really paid attention to detail on the box for the 101 Dalmatians. Not that they didn't for the Cinderella. So see what this one is. This one feels kind of like a puppy, but we'll see. <gasps> yes, I got the one. I absolutely, if I could get anyone from the series, it would be Corella DeVille. And the reason I wanted Corella DeVille is because my she's like my second or third favorite villain. So that's really cool. The only problem I have with it, and this is true from what people have told me and everything, there are scuff marks on the back a little bit. And there are some like little marks, but you can't tell on the back. Nobody ever sees. So that's what she looks like. I'm kind of picky on my vinyls and, you know, you can see some little paint flaws and things on these. But overall, these are really good. And Corello DeVille is uh, done by Enrica Pita. So he's one of my favorite artists. artist and he does a really good job and you can see she looks really really cool so that's awesome to get her so at least we got one that I really wanted and I forgot to tell you Lucifer is by Enrique Pita as well so that's really awesome let's check this one again I just love these boxes so let's see this one Ooh, we got a good one we got Roger Roger's another one I wanted, so that was good. So, you'll have to take a look at my first, excuse me, my first video to see what I got. And Roger does come with one of these accessories. As you guys can see, it's just his little mouth. So let's take a look at his mouth and see how you put it all together. So I know you guys are enjoying these Disney Manium, Disney Mondays. The reason I won't have them all the time sometimes is because it's just sometimes I don't have Disney stuff to, uh, 
to review for you guys. So if you guys didn't see, sorry, got carried away, but there it is. You pop off the head and you pop off this one. They've been doing this a lot lately in the new series, having like like neck extension um, uh, accessories. So that's kind of cool. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but so. And there you go. So that's what he looks like with his neck extension. I kind of don't like the neck extension to be honest with you but it does look funny with them without a mouth so that's kind of interesting i think they i don't know why they did that but it's you know it's different at least we got all three different ones so that's always good so i think that the i find that the cinderella set overall is probably a little bit more better on the paint job and the way it looks but i think that the 101 dalmatians is also really really cute so if you guys so i got lucifer from Cinderella, that was Enrique Pita. We got my fave, well, as you guys know, out of the three, my favorite is this one, Corella de Ville. I just love the way she looks in the back and everything. Very simple, but very good. And I don't have a Corella de Ville. And that's Enrique Pita too. And then we got, yes, we got Roger Radcliffe. And it's also done by Enrique Pita. So there you guys go. Sorry, I forgot to show. This is what the bottom looks like of all of them. And to let you know, the reason this one has a Mickey head on there, if you guys can see, um, or a hidden Mickey, is because that means it comes with an accessory. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Disney Mania Monday. I believe this is number 11 or so. I've done a whole bunch, and I have a playlist going for those, so check them out. And which one is your favorite in the comments below? As you all know, Corella de Ville is mine. So please have a great day. Check out my social media. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Share this video with your friends. Let them know. And also, before I leave, I'd like to give a shout out to a couple of YouTubers that I feel that if you guys are into vinyl nations, please go check them out. I think one of the, the names is Jamela. Or I'm not quite sure her name, and I'm sorry if you're watching this and I mispronounced it. I'll leave a link down below to all these people. So they're really cool that do Disney stuff and pins. Disney's Jirachi is super awesome. He does a lot of hauls of Disney and pins. Also check out, which you probably all know her, um, please, uh, excuse me, I'm blanking out on names all of a sudden. Please check out, um, okay, I just blinked out. But also check out Disney Magic News, I think is his name, or, you know what? I can't think of all the names at the moment, and I'm sorry. They're, uh, they're blanking. My mind's blanking on those, but I'll leave all the links down below to all the people I think that you might like to watch you do Disney and do Vinylmation unboxings. So I hope you guys all have a great day. Again, please check out my social media, and I'll have all updates. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Disney and Mania Monday. Disney Mania Monday video. Excuse me, it's a tongue twister. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Thanks. Bye.